Hello, designers. We are December 2. It's 8.32 a.m. And I'm creating the poster 14.39. So let's get started. Um, in Illustrator, I uh, have already made a checkboard pattern with black and white square. It's pretty easy to make. Um, I inspire myself from yesterday's poster. Uh, I quickly made a poster with a uh, with pattern too, and uh, it looks like that. I duplicate the pattern all over the poster, and uh, I simply made a gradient. And uh, the the gradient create this effect of depth in the poster. You can see it on the line there, the horizontal horizontal lines and the vertical ones, and the oblique there. It's just a simple gradient. I'll show you that right now. So I get my pattern here. I put the layer down. Just a little check if I touch the top of the canvas and then Alt, select and drag the pattern down, 13 pixel down, up one, two, three. Whoa, here I am. I select the two layer, command E to merge, merge them, and I duplicate. Done. One more time, I merge the two layer with command E, select them, command E, and um, the ID of uh, yesterday's poster, of yesterday poster, uh, I will take it today and I will create circular gradient. I'll show you a little, uh, little trick. There are some other way to do it, but uh, I use a very simple stuff to do it, I'll show you right now. Um, select the selection tool, uh, elliptical mark tool. Drag something there, a relatively large uh, circle, circular shape. Uh, command shift I to intervert the selection. Select the pencil and turn around the, the circle there. Not too far. It's done. Now you go on filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, I forget. Uh, you have to command shift I one more time. Draw another circle inside. Oh my god. I should do that on another layer. I quickly draw it. You can also select uh, this tool there, the paint bucket tool to fill it. Like that I have two shape, I can remove what I don't want from this shape there. I'll show you, it will be clear right now. Blur, Gaussian blur. Here we are. I select the shape. 
Command I to enter the selection, delete. Oh, I hide this layer. And there we have a little shadow that looks like a little hole into the pattern. Uh, it's like uh, another layer down there, but there is just nothing. It's just this circle there. There are not two layers. But the visual effect is, uh, is pretty strong. It tricks the eyes. So let's go in the center. Um, So that's shape. Let's draw a real shape. Use the ellipse tool. Let's create one more larger ellipse. Select. Okay, I'll center this ellipse. Go and create another, another layer, select the ellipse, B to select the brush tool, and it's missing because I didn't introvert selection by pushing command shift I. Yeah. So be sure about the, the shape you made uh, on the corner because if you try to make it smaller or larger, um, the side of the canvas will cut your shadow. Blur, Gaussian blur, or I just can go there, the Gaussian blur again. No, 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 no. I have a little, I have a little, I drew something in, inside the ellipse. That's why it wasn't straight. Pushing blur. Look at what we have. I select. The layer there by pushing command and click on the layer thumbnail. I introvert command shift I delete. And one more circle there. Um, Now, we duplicate the ellipse. In this mini series, I uh, use the I use the um, yeah basic color frame make with a kind of magenta pink, a light blue and a yellow. So I will use this color one more time. Uh, I should not remove the first circle I made before, but that's not a large problem. Now I come back on my uh, pattern, command C, command V. And here I am. Yeah, it looked like a super imposition of uh, shape. And uh, now it is a real super imposi imposition. But um, before it was just uh, the, the gradients. Uh, there is no super imposition of layer. There was no layering effect.
So I am done with this one. So next, continue to, to duplicate and create more death, death inside the poster. So comment select the, the anchor points there. And I make it bigger and the same process. Command and click on the layer thumbnail to select shape. Command Shift I to interver intervert the selection. Not pink. Select black B for select brush tool. Draw a little bit around the the, the ellipse. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Gaussian blur one more time. Select this ellipse. Delete. And command shift I delete. And I have another circle there. One more. Duplicate the shape, make it bigger. Uh, you should uh, push out when you when you want to make it bigger, like that. It grow from the center and create another layer. Select this one. Command click on the layer somewhere. Command Shift I to intervert, B to select the brush tool, draw around, and click the select, push and blur. One more click on the layer somewhere with command, Command Shift I to intervert the selection, delete and click for remove the selection. One more layer. And uh, you can continue like that a uh, really long time and uh, create depth inside the poster. Um, yeah, it can be very interesting. Uh, and now I'm thinking it looks like the Looney Tunes uh, animation. Yeah, with all the circle and the, the effect that they use color to create this sense of uh, death with the tomb appearing somewhere here. <sighs> so next, what to do? Should I continue to continue it? Yeah, ellipse here. Should I not? I think it would look weird because I'm near the angle of the canvas. Mm, let's see what happens if I move them smaller inside. Maybe um, create a larger area or a thinner area there will maybe generate uh, dynamism. Because here, as you can see, they are almost the same, same, uh, same size here. The color is a bit smaller because uh, the pink is. Uh, it's a bit flashy. So now it's weird. Sinner. Sinner. So one more time. Add a new layer. <coughs> My God, it's sick. 
um, select and shift by draw around Gaussian blur. Yeah, the process is uh, very repetitive. But yeah, you can use it as you want and uh, and make cool stuff with it. You can make it easy. Man, why do I? I didn't. Uh, didn't remove the shape. The ellipse is there. Let's put something blue there. Blue. Should put this one in blue and the uh, and the yellow one or uh, magenta one there. It's a look. Not there. To create create another shape there. So one more time. Continuing the process. Selection, create new layer, draw, draw something around. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, sorry. Cough. That one will be like coughing. And uh, one week I'm waking up 3 to 5 a.m. Terrible. I think mean, that's winter. Oh. I should introvert selection. That's why I saw nothing before. Here, Gaussian blur. Select, select. Introvert, done, done. Okay. One more selection. Duplicate this layer, render, So let's give it a pink color, magenta, and select a square there. Oh, see, uh, an ellipse. Cool. Interval selection. Not, because it's not a table. Come there. Uh, control and click on the layer. Go to rasterize layer. And now I can remove part of the ellipse I don't want. It looks a bit dark, but it's fine. It's less flashy like this. And uh, yeah, I will continue one more time. I duplicate. Oh, no, 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 no. no. And better ID there. And select the shape, duplicate them, and then just make them smaller. Oh, yeah, and the pattern is also changing. That's it can be very good, visually speaking. Um, what if I turn it a little bit? Ooh. Yeah. 
Okay, it almost hurt the eyes. Good, I like it. So let's check for five degree angle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks fine. Oh, what am I doing there? It's not what I want. Like this. They keep swimming. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't work. So it's too, it's too dark. Um, hmm. No, no, I should not make it smaller. The button should not be small. It's too, too broad, guys. It's really a bad idea. Let's say multiply fifty no seventy percent um <coughs> mm, I think it should make the it should add the smaller smaller circle in the center. Let's do it. Simple. Mm, continue. There. Okay, let's duplicate this one. It's not strong enough. This one too. Do one two. Too be much darker. <coughs> yeah, they all should be more dark. So it's too quickly. This one is dark now. Yeah, it's fine. Now let's add some some shape here and here. So what to do? Yeah, it's very symmetrical creation. Should I break it? Should I not? Should I continue to use symmetric? Hmm. Okay, let's break it. Side quarter, make a circle there. Oh, or maybe a square. Let's see what happens. A square. Oh. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it looks pretty well, like a glitch effect. Mm -hmm. 
OK. Uh, yeah. I like it. The duplication there, you see. There are some nice happening. Here, should get a little bit of side. The bottom, I still not much straight. Oh, I'm not doing that. All right. Make it like this. Let's continue to play. Not if I make bigger square there. Select the whole shape. Play with it somewhere there. Yeah. Looks well. No, uh, it doesn't work. Let's go back on Illustrator. Could not export the keyboard because it's too big to export. Okay, I got it. Let's select just a few four square. No, 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 no. It's not what I want. Come there. Yeah, I simply check it and drag it into Photoshop. And here we are. Okay, pretty well. So let's create a layer mask. No, 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 not on this shadow. Shadow. Yes, I should name my uh, my layers. No, it. Ah, there. Here we are. We have to change. No, that I can. I can move my square, but if you select the vector mask, you will move the vector mask, so I select the layer. And here I place my little square where I want it to be. And uh, I not one more there too. Continue the symmetry, but not really symmetrical. But I, um, what do I need now? I need to use the yellow color. Uh, let's go a circle. No, it's black. Yellow in the center. No. Where should it be? Should be great to be blue and magenta. Great, yes. This shape. And this one, this one, this is this one. Oh, no. I interval the selection and go back. Pull around there to mask layer. I guess I will move and play around with my circle, my ellipse, and see what better place. I remove the chain there, like that they are not connected together. 
and I select my layer. Good. And it's where it's the where. Not do it like this, it should be up. Yes, almost. Yeah, it should be up. It should break the uh, shadow and smaller because yellow is a strong color. It should generate its own depth. No black there. No yellow, I need black. Pushing blur. Select the 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 hiding mask. Place it over the shadow. That it's okay. Multiply it. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, now mm, the basic ID is set on the canvas. And uh, now the goal is really to to play until uh, the canvas looks good enough and uh, yeah, trying things, add, remove, play, and uh, try uh, different kind of things and play with this uh, sensation of uh, depth and find uh, the right uh, Right combination, the, the right weight between shape, uh, find the right place to, and uh, yeah, play is really, uh, is really, really, really important there. That's how you make it playful. So let's work on it. And uh, the process is, uh, I already explained you when I started. Um, there is nothing too complicated. Really not. <coughs> oh. Um, yeah, it's really simple. So did I make a selection? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. I know it's the shade that I should take. Because if I select the shadow, there are a gradient. It's not okay to use a gradient. But yeah, it can be okay to do that. A bit more difficult. Um, so I create his own shadow. Yeah, one more time. It's really about the ID you can you can get, and uh, the, the ID you implement in your. In your visual that will make it good and uh, the, you need a lot of tests try many different things for find something good sometimes you're lucky and you directly make something awesome and uh, you should think a little bit before design too not just like uh, i'm doing right now um, like i told you it's the poster uh, 1,439, and I can tell you that uh, I feel like if I already made everything, use every shape, even if it's totally not true, uh, sometimes 
where what I mean by that it's it's difficult to find something new to make now because I really feel like if I did everything before I don't really want to repeat myself but I I just can't avoid to repeat myself a little bit visually there with some poster. That's also why I make mini series. I already say that in previous post on my website. But the, the mini series is a, a way to to yeah to explore more about an idea I like and also save some of my time because uh, there are days I'm more busy than others and uh, yeah I'm faster I don't have to find a new ID and uh, it's much better for me like this and yeah the um, because I don't have the time I cannot uh, I cannot go too far into a poster and the mini series allow me to to discover and go deeper into the design I create that's why I do them so let's select a circle there now this one is too big this one too where are they? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, that can be as over interesting there. Like if it's uh, more than the others. Let's see what happens. No, I can cancel. Uh, make it simple. Uh, to create a shape for each each uh, layer of the of shadow. Oh no, because now it's difficult to catch back the size of the shadow. Is it the correct size? Mm. Should go down. Let's go to see it. Now it's in it. Okay, select my oh, black square from there, my black shape, select and create 
and trade in either mask now let's name this layer mask ah it's a layer mask no 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 go to chamber and move it around let's go create another shape and make it faster I want to finish this poster soon Oh, yellow, yeah. Yeah, like this. Typical layer. Mask. Oh, what am I doing? Here we are. There are really many, many, many kind of stuff you can do. Create uh, two edits. to save my file before I find the program somewhere. And let's go drink coffee for now. See you in a few minutes. So I took five minutes to have a little break and uh, to have a fresh new eyes about this poster and yeah it needs more work much more much more work because it's really really not finished now so let's continue it they are already 45 minutes I'm working on this one and uh, if you are still following along, thank you very much for your time. I hope you are learning something there. Same if it's very simple. And uh, I am already sorry for the no noise they are making above. It's really boring. They are workers. They are making new home. Um, yeah, it's like that. So let's continue. I draw a uh, white ellipse. Uh, I will pixelize it because I want to cut inside. Let's see if I can do something with it somewhere. Let's continue to copy and paste this layer mask here like this. Oh, this one should generate his own shadow, just like the others. Yeah, it's chronophage uh, process. The result, the result can look uh, very good. Just takes time, maybe a little sketch before start would be also welcomed. Don't make advance in the dark. This maybe black doesn't need doesn't need a shadow. Continue there. Gaussian blur. I select it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Well, let's place with some elements on this area there let's draw another 
rectangle, a magenta rectangle, now a blue one. Needs blue there, a little bit more. Okay, like this. Come until there. And place it up. Yeah, if you can name your layer, it will uh, it will also be perfect. A uh, player mask. I directly create the shadow before I f forget it. Let's select black color. Uh, still have the selection. Yeah, it's totally normal. Uh, Gaussian blur one more time. Save my file in case if. <coughs> Duplicate the layer mask there. Here we are. Voila. I remove this two there. And see where it can be, where the position can be more interesting, where it creased, where, where it created the most tension. And find the correct placement on the layer and on the canvas. Hmm. Let's draw a yellow square here on that side. Yeah. Now it uh, breaks a little bit <coughs> the symmetry. Mm, what if I make it longer? Nice, it's okay. Let's select the circle there, yes. A layer mask. Place it up. No, it was very interesting with the shadow inside. Here, mm, yeah, it's nice, like it. Okay, why not? Oh, remove this one, place it a little bit there. Select this one, or select the layer there. Place uh, draw inside to hide. Uh, well, duplicate shape. Do the reverse. Erase with white inside. To let appear the shape, <coughs> select this one and no, take the layer there, yeah, like this or like this. Let's see what works the best. Here it's fine. Need some color here, so I'll draw a magenta rectangle here, and I come to hide it like this. Mm. Ah. No. Don't select the layer mask, but the layer and break. See the center there. It should, it 
to break the symmetry. A little bit down like this. I like I like that, but this one doesn't work. Let's see what happens. If I place it there, it's maybe too big. <coughs> Uh, let's give him a shadow. Uh, not a white shadow. Um, filter Gaussian blur, like usually. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. Duplicate it, please. Like this. And uh, it starts to look like something relatively good now. Uh, come back in Illustrator and I will check a longer part of this checkboard pattern. I drag it into Photoshop. Maybe that's too big. Uh, Let's play with that there. Yeah, it looks uh, relatively nice, but I will hide. Uh, they are working on the top, but it's boring noise. Guess what? They really don't care. I know. Uh, and. I will give it this shape, this own shadow, Gaussian blur. Duplicate um, it. Yeah, yeah. Start to look uh, very interesting. Uh, just to to give to add uh, more more depth. I add something on the corner here, maybe. Why not? Let's have a look on how is the result. Yeah, not bad. One more time, create a shadow. Oh, should draw inside first. Some black curl. Uh, Gaussian blur dawn. Uh, we don't see the informations there, so I will use a white shape to let them appear. I will also give them a shadow. Drawing black under the layer, filter, Gaussian blur. Done. Here there are some other info too. Uh, you to select the shape tool, white. Another shadow above this one, under this one, uh, filter, Gaussian blur, yeah, I could not pick it up, it's empty, here we are, Gaussian blur, and it is done. Yeah, of course, I can work more, I should do it, but that's okay for today. So thank you to follow the tutorial. Uh, I really hope you enjoy it. Um, I stop now because I cannot support the noise above and I think on the microphone is recording it. And it will be terrible to, to hear. And it was too dark there. Um, thank you, and I think tomorrow I will continue to talk about the, my creations, and uh, 
Yeah, I'll share the process with you. I think it can be interesting, maybe. And uh, see you tomorrow for the poster uh, 1440. Have a nice day. Goodbye.